Hello, I'm Janelle Shala, and on this video I'm going to be discussing a fairly common mineral, but one I believe is very important, which is hematite. You'll probably know hematite from its steel grey color and mirror-like appearance that you get when it's been polished. This is fairly typical of what you'd find in a crystal shop. It actually was used as a mirror at one time before we had mirrors in the way we know them today with glass and a silver foil behind them. It's very popular as a mineral to carve, to make jewelry out of, etc., etc. Really beautiful, and which is why I think you probably know it. But you also know it because it's one of the heaviest things you will buy, most likely. And that's because it's an iron oxide and it's 70% iron. It's our most important iron ore. It's actually fairly common, surprisingly common, because this is what we get all our iron from. I'm going to show you a piece that isn't something you would probably go out and buy, but this is granular hematite. It's also known as limonite or ochre. There are various other names for it. This is what it most often looks like when it's mined, but ochre is what was used in very early pigments. We still use it to some extent in pigments, but the very earliest pigments that man used in cave paintings, etc., were created from this. They also used it to color their skin. The, um, the ancient Greeks, interestingly, they, uh, the warriors used to color their skin with this. And they associated iron with the god Ares, or Mars, which is the god of war. So iron is often associated with a warrior energy, or a hematite in general. Hematite, or iron in general, is associated with a warrior energy. But this is also associated with our very beginnings of evolution as humankind because there have been 13 pieces of this discovered in South Af Africa in the Mossel Bay area that have been deliberately carved into a geometric pattern while they were clearly milling it to use for pigment. The geometric pattern demonstrates symbolic behavior and it's the first example of symbolic behavior in humans. It, um, it dates back 75,000 years ago. Now, up until a few years ago, it was believed that human symbolic behavior didn't start until 40,000 years ago. This is 35,000 years earlier. Really important. Hematite, because of the warrior energy, is something that we use for grounding and protection. Now, I'm going to show you while I'm discussing the properties of it, what it does. I'm going to show you this other piece here. Now, this is another formation. This is botrioidal hematite, also known as reniform. Botrioidal comes from the Greek for bunch of grapes, and you can see that kind of bunch of grapes look to it. But reniform means like a kidney, and this is also known as kidney ore. This is polish, the piece you're looking at. When you find this, it's actually got a bit of rust around the edges. It's kind of reddish like the piece I just showed you. Now, as I mentioned, this strong warrior energy is very grounding, extremely protective. This is one of the best protection stones, not the only one. But because with the polished uh, surface of it and the mirror-like finish, it reflects away negative energy, so it also acts as a kind of shield. Again, warrior energy. It's called hematite because of its relationship, the, um, the color looking like blood. Hematite from the Greek for heme, blood. You know, think of hemo, hemoglobin, things like that. Its high iron content also helps when people have things like um, um, anemia, for example, or poor circulation. So it's one of the ones we use in treating that kind of thing. I'm going to show you one last gorgeous piece. This is when it really crystallizes. I think this is absolutely gorgeous, lovely piece, very shiny. <laughs> I'm a magpie at heart, probably a magpie in a former life. Now, in addition to reflecting away negative energy, the other property that hematite has the quality that's really nice about it is that it helps with inner reflection. Sometimes that's inner reflection of stuff that's very deep-seated and hard to look at. So you can only use it if you're ready for this stuff to come to the surface, but we want it to come to the surface. We want it to come to the surface and not be affecting us anymore. So this is really important as well.